Hello! So, this is your last week, which is crazy. This year has gone so fast. But yes, this is finally your last week of primary. So, because it's your last week, we are going to do things just a little bit differently. If this was our normal last week, we wouldn't be doing maths and English every single day. So, because of that, we're not going to do things kind of the same as we have been doing. However, I want to be able to give you the opportunity to do maths and English every single day, if that's what you would like to do. So, we will be setting you an English task every day. And you're going, I'm going to show you an app and a website that you can not only use today and for the rest of this week, but you can also use over the summer. It is completely free. It's a really, really good website and it works. I think it's going to work really well because you can choose the areas that you want to work on. So if you're sat there thinking, oh, I'm really struggling with algebra or ratio or fractions or division, you can go on this website. It's very, very similar to Hegarty Maths. So there's a little video for each one and there's little quizzes and mini lessons for you to go through. Right, this website, and I think it is an app as well, is called Numerize. So type in to your search bar N-U-M-E-R-I-S-E -E, and it is numerize.com. So click on the first one. So numerize the simple way to develop your children's maths and it's the secondary ready bit um, that we're going to go for. Okay, so it's the secondary ready. So I want you to click on secondary ready. So this is a free course that is designed to prepare year six, that's you guys, for year seven in September. So this is a free of charge course. So it's completely free until September. So you can do as much as you want over the summer. And I really would recommend doing a bit over the summer. Because otherwise in September you're going to think, ah, I can't remember any of this stuff. Right. So hopefully you've got a web page that looks a little bit like this. Now, before you start, you need an adult to make a login first. So you need an adult's login, you need their email address. So ask one of your adults at home to sign up first of all, and then they can create your profile, okay? And they can track your progress and they can see how you're doing. So first things first, you need to get an adult to sign up and then you can create your own. Right, so first of all then, you need to click on set up an account and you need to click on parent. When you've then done that, you'll then be able to create a login for you. Okay. So your adults page should look a little bit like this. If you click on manage accounts, you just need to add a learner. So you need to give a, um, a username and a password. I think you should put your birthday in as well. And then that is then the login that you have. So I don't have your login. Mr. Barker doesn't have your login. Your adult at home will have your login. They will be the person that can reset your password and things like that. So it looks like this. So I've created a username of Wyndham. Um, and my password is Wyndham1 with a capital one. So if you are really, really struggling, you can just try this login. It won't be personalised to you. But if you're struggling, you can use these login details. And then you just click add new learner. And then you as a child will now be able to log in. So if you log out of your adult's uh, account, so I've now logged out. So log out then of your adult's account and now you should be able to log into your account. So I've got Wyndham and capital W, Wyndham1, because this is my child's account. This is the one that I want to go to and this will keep track of my progress. So I can then log in. When this loads, you will see lots of different bits. So here you've got to see my activities and you can keep track of your progress. You've got, you can set a learning goal if you want. So you can uh, click on how many lessons you would like to do per week and create a goal so it keeps you on track. And it gives you lots of statistics. It tells you how many questions you've answered, how many lessons you've completed. So if you're ever unsure, you can just click on the, uh, the numerize home button at the top and it brings you back to this screen. Right. On this side here then, you can see if you scroll down, there's lots and lots of different lessons. Now, there's not just 12 lessons, okay? If you have a look, on each one, there's a lesson, so adding fractions, and then there's four lessons kind of within that, or four activities within that. I do not mind what activities you have a go at. You might want to have a go at decimals. You might be confident with decimals and think, mm, area and perimeter, that's what I want to practice. You might want to have a practice at rounding. You might want to practice negative numbers, bod mass and order of operations. There's statistics, fractions, adding fractions, 
all sorts. Just for today, I'm going to click on, in fact, I won't click on decimals because I've done a bit of decimals. I'll click on adding. There we go. Had a bit of a play on it before. So when it comes to adding, you can then look at adding whole numbers and or adding decimals or both. And then there's a lesson quiz and then there's revision. So it's up to you which one you go on. So for now, I'm going to go on to adding whole numbers so that you can see it. And you use this purple arrow to go through it. So if you click on the little arrows, it should give you a question like this. So it says calculator not allowed. Copy and cal complete the calculation below. What's the answer? So once I've got an answer, I can then type it in. Da -da 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 -da, submit. Oh dear, not quite right. That's okay. Question two. Right, now I use the column method to add these together. Right, yeah, I could do that. Answer, click, 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 submit. Oh dear, not quite right. Obviously, you will be doing these properly. Question three. Oh, this time it's got three numbers. So the questions will progressively get harder. That first one, it showed you how to lay it out. The second one hasn't sh uh, shown you how to lay it out. Third one, you've got three numbers to add. And then the fourth one, you've got a worded problem to have a go at. If at any point you are struggling, hopefully down here you've noticed it says watch video. So if you then click on this video, this will come up, you can click play and it will go through and explain all of these things to you. Okay, there's a different video for every question. So say I was stuck on question number one. So I didn't get it right, so let's try it again. So I can watch the video. It tells me to make sure each digit's lined up. It's got the column method. It's going to demonstrate it for me. Okay, right. When you've had a go at all of those, so I've done adding numbers, you can do your learning check. So you are about to start a learning check. So write down your answers and enter them at the end. And it's like a little quiz. Okay, so there'll be two, three questions. And then at the end, you click on enter all your answers. I finished answering, enter your answers and you write down, yeah, that's my answer for number one. That's my answer for number two. And that's my answer for number three. The other thing that is really, really good about this website is it has a little revision section. So at the bottom, you've got adding whole numbers, adding decimals, lesson quiz. You might as well go for the quiz straight away. And then once you've done these, you get the revision section. And the revision section is questions that have been chosen just for you, which is why I do recommend you getting your own login, because these questions are just for you and nobody else. Whereas if you're using the Wyndham login, you might see questions for other people. And this helps you practice topics that you found tricky before. So I've just got quite a few questions wrong about addition. So my first one, oh, that's one's about, that one's about area. That's uh, what I was doing the other day. But some of these will be about the... Um, addition questions, there you go, like these, that I was getting wrong earlier. And again, if you're finding it hard, you can watch the video at the bottom. This really is a fantastic resource. It is completely free, which is brilliant. And you can see your activity, you can see how much you're doing. And the revision section is so fantastic because then you can revise exactly what you need to make sure you are ready for secondary. So if your adult's not at home today and you can't set up a ch an account today, that's okay. Use the Wyndham login, like I've said, and then when they get home, ask them if they can help you make an account for them and then for you. And the good thing is they can then see what you found hard as well. So then they can log on to their account and they say, oh, you've done really well at that. Oh, let's practice that together. So like I've said, this is completely free. You do not need to pay for it. Um, until September and then in September you don't need it okay so it's completely free until September so I really really recommend doing this you can do as much or as little as you would like over the six weeks holiday but I would definitely try and do a little bit to keep those math skills really really fresh okay well because we're not having a maths lesson as such every day this week this is pretty much it from me on the videos so thank you so much for following along I hope it's been okay I hope you've enjoyed it I am really, really looking forward to seeing some of you this week and saying goodbye to you all and just celebrating your last week of primary, really. So have fun. Good luck next year. I know you'll be amazing. And make sure you come back and tell us all about everything. Right. I will see you soon. Bye.